Now I will show you how to launch Silent Hill with the best visual component in 60fps. Let's go! Silent Hill, just like Soul Reaver is a little capricious game when it comes to emulators. You can get through many different emulators and get an acceptable result of course. But I'm going to show you the best because this game is worthy of the best. The emulator of our choice is DuckStation. Go to the display settings. Choose renderer, hardware, Vulkan. Includes vertical synchronization. Turn on the linear upscaling parameter. This parameter improves the visibility of fonts, and the visual component of cutscenes. Add the stretch to fill parameter. Everything is ready here, move on to enhancement settings. Here the main miracles of the correction of graphics are being created. First, we set up the internet resolution scale in accordance with the monitor that we will use. In the case of Full HD, select X5. In the case of 2K, X6 and so on. Next is setting up, texture filtering. In my video, I use the nearest neighbor parameter, which is in other way a minimal visual improvement. However, never spoils anything in any game. All other parameters can improve something or break something. It all depends on the game, so you need to recover. From personal experience, I can say that in the case of Silent Hill, the best parameter was, XBR, no edge blending. Put a check mark on the scale dithering parameter. This is the most important when we want to get a clean and beautiful drawing. Another no less important component, widescreen hack. This parameter optimizes the images that the emulator produces in accordance with your aspect ratio. Turn it on if you play at 16 to 9 aspect ratio. There is a second way to activate it, which I will show later in this video. Now let's look at the non-mandatory PGXP parameters. PGXP stands for, Precision Geometry Transform Pipeline. These settings have a huge impact on the recording of geometry. Put the settings exactly as you can see on the screen now. And remember that these settings very often cause various bugs in games and Silent Hill is no exception. At the end of this video, we will discuss them in details. Finally, we got to the question of 60fps, and the second method of setting up a widescreen. For small specifics, I will say that for all emulators it is possible to use specific cheat codes that are conveniently located in files with special resolution and have specific parameters that emulators are able to read and apply to specific games. In the case of DuckStation, a huge amount of cheat codes is already in the program folder, you only need to activate them. In the top panel of the emulator, we can notice one interesting parameter, cheats. By default it's grayed out. In order to change something in it, you must first start the game. We launch the game Silent Hill, go to the cheats and open the cheat manager. Below there are two parameters we need, 60fps. There are two options for the American region and for Japanese. Choose based on the image of the disk that is used. And the second parameter is called widescreen 16 to 9. This cheat does almost the same as widescreen hack, which we turned on earlier. But as I noticed the algorithm a little different and they can even be used at the same time. I will try to show you an example. This is how it looks when playing when, only the first parameter is turned on. Now let's see how it will look when only the second hit is turned on. The difference is not big, but it is. Now let's see what will happen if both turn on them. Here is the actual result. Further, how to use them depends completely on your preferences. It's time to talk about the bugs that are found in this game of IZA settings of the parameters that I showed you. I will say right away that you can turn them off and these bugs will never meet you. But what is the image of the VE in this case? Not the best option is right. And so, there are several points in the game, which often lead to freezing. The first case takes place in the church when you first meet Dahlia Gillespie. To prevent this from happening, you need to disable the parameters of improving the geometry PGXP and widescreen hack slash chats. It happens that even when they turn it off, the bug still appears, during a conversation with her, and to avoid this, I recommend skipping the second sentence by pressing the cross key on your controller. Further, the bug is found when you try to lower the bridge. The next time you may face this problem, immediately after the transition to the gate in sewers, after moth boss fight. This bug also takes place by the end of the game, where you are talking with Alessa. You can see example, on the screen. 
Here is how it happens when we have parameters on. And here is the example how it would go with them being turned off. On this our video comes to an end, I wish you a pleasant game.